Hey guys, Nick here. Back with another CSGO tier list video. Today I'm doing submachine guns. Um, without any more ado, let's get into it. So, submachines in Counter-Strike are really good. Uh, I actually like getting submachine guns for a lot of different cases over, like, rifles even sometimes. Uh, of course, there's the, the P90 noob kind of a buy. But, I mean, sure, whatever, P90 noob, but, like, you know, it's a relevant game tool. If you can't counter it, then you got to figure out a way to counter it and get good. <laughs> I know. Feels bad. Um, I also have trouble countering the P90, but I also have to get good because I'm still <laughs> still sucking silver. So, um, oh yeah, that's being said, take all my opinions with an entire salt mine in colonial Africa because um, odds are I don't know dick about what I'm saying, but um, the goal is just to have fun with these. And I've been playing CS for almost like half a decade now, so um, uh, I feel like there's some validity to my opinions. But anyways, with that said, uh, let's get into it. So the Mac 10, first one we'll do, um, really good speed, like with all these SMGs, it favors a spray and pray kind of close range, fast moving gameplay style. Uh, it is a terrorist only uh, SMG available from the buy menu. Um, it does some decent damage and for the price tag of just over a grand, it's a really, really good second round buy in a lot of cases, in my opinion. Um, and uh, if you play 50 Cent in the background, um, then, you know, it just makes it a completely obvious pick. You have to go with the MAC-10. Um, does, some, does some pretty good damage uh, for its price, even versus unarmored opponents. I would say the value here is just good enough that this is easily an A-tier SMG. Definitely above the pack, above the average of the pack, for sure. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll keep it, where we'll keep it for now. Next up, the MP5 SD, the um, recent, when I say recently, I mean like <laughs> two or three years ago, but a somewhat recently added SMG. Um, the MP5 used to be available in 1.6 and Source or something. Um, I'm, don't quote me on that because I'm not super sure, but in past Counter-Strikes, the MP5 was available. It's kind of cool that they added a new gun, which is unusual for Counter-Strike. Normally they just kind of hang out with the, the weapons platforms that we already have, and then add skins, and that's kind of all the devs really do, aside from occasional balance and maps. But um, it was kind of cool to see a new gun, a bit refreshing for a while. Uh, came I think it came at the same time as Danger Zone, because I remember there was a souvenir skin that you'd get if you um, already had the game before it became free. It was when all the like fucky shit kind of happened with CS. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, just kind of like fucky is in weird, right? Um, overall, though. Uh, very expensive SMG, kind of, um, you know, 50% more than that. It's $1,500. Um, definitely not a round two buy. I would argue probably not an eco buy really ever. Um, it's an investment for, I would say, if you're trying to play, like at this range of price points, this is kind of when you're trying to play a little bit more um, uh, of an SMG style gameplay. Maybe you're forcing a buy and you want a little bit better range characteristics or whatever the reason. Still pretty good damage. Um, I really enjoy playing this one. Um, but, you know, for 1500 you have to think. Um, you know, you could do 1500 buy this and get maybe some nades. Or, you know, if you're on uh, CT side, you can buy... Uh, well, FAMAS is like 500 extra. But if you're on T side, you can sacrifice the nade and get a Galil, which will give you way better rifle characteristics in many situations. That's the pre preferable buy. So in terms of value, um, it does lose a few points in my book, but I would still say it's a pretty strong SMG. I would put it behind the MAC-10. Um, yeah, and uh, these tiers are also pretty arbitrary. This is just kind of my feelings about these these weapons, so obviously not <laughs> scientific at all. If you want a very, um, st a very good perspective on CSGO weapons in general, I highly recommend uh, going and watching Three Clicks Phillips videos from like years ago where he goes into every single weapon, spray patterns, headshots, um, damage at different ranges, um, that kind of stuff. Oh, which reminds me, um, being suppressed in Counter-Strike is pretty cool for sure. Um, if you're like up against a couple different enemies and like say you have to clutch, it's 1v2. You can kill one, and all that the enemy knows is that one died. And if the enemy didn't see where you were, he might not know exactly where you are immediately. And that bit of extra time can be very advantageous. I wouldn't say it's necessarily good enough to put it ahead of the MAC-10, though, in terms of just value t 
tier, whatever. I don't even know how I'm ranking these. Uh, just a bunch of different stuff. But the suppressed feature is very nice, but I wouldn't say it puts it ahead of the Mac 10. But I do say it definitely is interesting and can provide for a lot of interesting play. I haven't really um, gotten good at good enough at Counter Strike to really use it to its potential, but I'm sure that there is something there to be done with it. Next, the MP7. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but it's basically an MP5 without a suppressor, but it does more damage on armored and unarmored opponents, which can be the difference between, you know, life or death. It's the same price. Basically, it's it's an, it's a very similar weapon just without the suppressor, much like between the P2000 and the um, USPS, but um, aside from the ammo count. But yeah, I feel very comfortable putting the MP7 over here. I should play a little more with the MP7. I have the MP5 currently as my submachine gun of choice between the two, but the MP7 is definitely a very good gun. I should definitely get back into using it. It used to be worth seventeen grand or 1700 but then they dropped the price down after they added the MP5 to make it equal, so in a way it's a little more interesting to use it nowadays because it got a slight buff from that since that happened, which is ages ago, so yeah, they've probably balanced it since. All right, but anyways, next up, MP9. Um... I really got to start using these tiers instead of just stacking stuff. The MP9 is a very good submachine gun CT side for like rushes. Very interesting stat also from that three clicks video. I haven't seen it in ages. I should probably go back and watch it. He, he makes some really good videos on that, on this kind of stuff. But um, really interesting stat is that the jump accuracy with the MP9 is particularly good um, compared with the rest of the SMGs, which is interesting. So you can kind of as CTs peak and jump catch your opponent off guard maybe take some hits you know tank some damage to your legs and then um get your opponent with like headshots and upper body shots out of a very high rate of fire weapon um i really really like this one i shouldn't i should use it a lot more than i do but i think it's definitely s tier it's only 1250 dollars fantastic price very good damage and um uh definitely an s tier smg in my opinion <clears throat> Next up is the P90. Yeah, very obviously the best SMG in, of all time. Or, in my opinion, the best SMG. That being... Mm, well, okay, so here's the thing. It's very expensive, um, which means you could totally go for a rifle, probably, and be better off a lot of the time. Actually, yeah, so for that reason, I can't put it at top of S tier. <clears throat> um, just because it's just way too expensive for what you're getting when you could get other weapons that are arguably a little bit better just for a little bit more money but it does have a place for sure and it's definitely a very useful um like pushing or rushing tool um and i would 100 percent say that it definitely deserves a spot in this tier it's got a lot of ammo in the magazines it's the fire rate is really fast tons of damage versus armored opponents very good weapon for sure um just really expensive which is a downside <clears throat> all right next up Frederick, you're going to hate me for this, but I got to put the PP Bison in B. It's a very good submachine gun, but when I, from my experience, when I use it, I, I suck at it with accuracy. I always spray all over my target, never really hit the target. That being said, it has a fuck ton of ammo. It's the SMG with the most ammo, I believe, with like 60 something rounds, even past the P90. Um, Fair, not cheap, but not expensive. I believe it sits around fourteen hundred. Um, not super sure. I think it is fourteen hundred, but um, it is a very good SMG for sure. But if it weren't for the spray pattern, I I could put I would put it higher. I also have to I think I have to reshuffle this a little bit too because um, <laughs> that's gets I'm getting a little bit of up tier higher high tier compression. <laughs> I guess I just also really love the SMGs, um, but, um, you know, I don't know, SMGs are fun, but, uh, uh, okay, I guess I'll just do the UMP5, um, or the UMP5, oh my gosh, no, the UMP45, all right, I'll be honest, I'm just looking, I'm just looking it up, I'm looking up the PP Bison buy price, because I don't want to give you guys bad facts, price. All right, it is fourteen hundred. Okay, I should have just been confident. Yeah, it's fourteen hundred. Um, cheaper than uh one, two, three. Cheap, almost the yeah, the second, the third cheapest SMG. So, not terribly price. Eh. Oh, okay, I definitely have to reorganize the tiers. Um, this is definitely not the worst of all of these. Mm. 
it's just it's really close. All right, I'll just do the UMP45. The UMP45, very underrated in my opinion. I think it has the highest damage of all the SMGs. It just has a very low rate of fire. I think it's a very good weapon if you guys, if your team wants to do like a slight eco, but not a bit like a lot of eco, like not a full eco buy round. Um, definitely very underrated. I think it definitely deserves a spot in S tier. Um, but yeah, real quick, let's just kind of take a look and reorganize stuff. I think maybe you could do something like this, kind of. Still, this I believe is a little bit better. Um, but I think it should kind of deserve its own. T yeah. All right. This this feels a lot better. Um, maybe you could do the. Mm, you know what? I would put. I'm gonna put the P90 in A tier, and then drop this down to C. And here's wh why: the P90, the, the value factor is just it's too expensive. You know, you very rarely do you ever like buy a P90 just because you sacrifice the range ability, like the long range ability that you get with rifles and damage that you get with rifles. And it's just so much better generally to have a rifle, even though the P90 is will obliterate, absolutely annihilate anything within a close range. So it really works with rushes and B rushes, <clears throat> generally for a lot of maps. B tends to be the close range, at least, I don't know, Dust 2B, for example, uh, P90, I think, is very good for that map because if you ever get in close quarters with the rifle, like super close, um, you can end up missing a lot. Whereas with the P90, because you just have so many bullets, you just kind of spray, pray, kill the guy. <clears throat> also, holding a sight like B sight and Dust 2 with uh, small machine guns generally is a good idea um, if you can't afford rifles or other stuff. But, um, man, you know what? I will leave the PP buzz on at the bottom tier. Mostly just because I don't know how to use it. It's probably my fault. <laughs> but um, I also feel like it has very low damage. That's just a feeling. I don't. I can't back that up. But anyways, that's it. Um, sorry, this one. This one kind of ended up being a little bit long. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, uh, I'm gonna definitely keep doing CS videos. So if you like that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, definitely gonna keep doing more weapons and stuff. Uh, it seems like you guys enjoyed last video, so I'll keep it up. Um, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.